Hello, John. Hi, hi, uh, Owen. Uh, very yeah. pleased you can come and share with us um, your, uh, your your expertise and your experience uh, with with Excel Axiata and what uh, what you've been able to to achieve and realise uh, about the the assets that you have that you can can reuse and and share with others. So I'll just check that you can share your screen. Uh, so where is it now? Uh, the button. There are a row of icons along the bottom of your screen. You, you see a camera and a microphone, and there'll be a computer screen that has a red line through it. Sorry, I can see. I cannot see which one. Yeah, you can see the little row of icons along the bottom of your screen. Sorry. In, within the hop-in window, the row yeah. of icons. You'll see a camera icon a microphone, uh, a computer with a red line through it, and then a, a, a gear, a cog. Oh, yeah, that got it. Yep. OK, so you can just uh, click that, that you see? computer icon. Yep. Can you see it, John? Uh, not yet. Is it, uh, is it sharing? Not yet. Yes, yeah, it's sharing. OK. Sometimes it takes a moment to do that. I'm not seeing it. Ah, here, it's just coming up now. Okay, um, the page is just refreshing at the moment. Yep. It should come. It? It's taking a little while to to load the screen. Uh, I think it should appear in a moment, though. So while while that is loading, um, yeah, I guess what it would be good to just pick up on the topics that we started this track with about APIs as as a product. So we heard from. Uh, Shailesh at, at Senbird about how they thought about their their customers and um, and then uh, geared their planning for for their product uh, around there um, and then we um, and then we heard from uh, astronaut about how they sort of accidentally realized that they had a, yeah. a service that they could share and then um, Expose as an API and it really extended their reach. But I think in your case, uh, with the the amount of data that um, uh, telcos have in their um, that flow through their systems, it's data that in very very often in the past was just thrown yeah. away. It was just not used at all. It was like um, it was like taking it to the rubbish dump. You, yeah, um, you, it was it cost too much to to store it. Um, and, and you didn't have a, a, a use for it. But now you're starting to realize, well, well data um, is, is something that provides a, a lot, of, lot of insights. And you, so yeah. you're starting to farm that for yourselves and, and now to externalize that. Um, so um, I'm, I'm keen to, to learn more about that. But I yeah. think we, we've got a challenge with the, um, with the loading of your presentation. Um, so you think the yeah yeah the slides so maybe yeah. Uh, so, did you send? Um, you Try sent again, this yeah? to, to Ivan. Sorry, Ivan, can you help us? Okay. Did you you sent it? Did you already send it to uh, to Ivan to share? Yeah. Ivan, do you have the? Um, uh, can you? Come on and share your screen, please, with uh, with the screen share. I okay. Try again, yeah. So we've got a problem with you with your deck. Um, okay. I, I don't. We we don't have your deck, um, Owen. I just try to share it again. Okay. John. Can you see me? Well, it's it's trying to load. 
but it's uh, but it's not showing us anything. Okay, can you can you remove the video and uh, and then send it because I think it's the um, so you've sent it again now, have you? Yeah. Okay. So wh while we're waiting for that, can you just sort of paint a picture about where where you sit in the um, Excel Axiata organization and why you came to um, to have a, a particular role to play in this using uh, using the, the data? Yeah, so actually, uh, currently, uh, we are starting maybe in the amid pandemic, which is in 2020. Mm -hmm. uh, we are trying to develop uh, what we call it API and data inside as a business. So uh, currently, uh, we realize that uh, this type of API and also the data from Telco are fully uh, needed in the financial services or industry. Uh, in this industry vertical, especially on the e-commerce and the marketplace. So the, the things that uh, uh, we start realize that this is not only for our internal purpose for our big data, but for sure this can help us, uh, helps the uh, the company uh, from the financial services and and the any uh, vertical industry uh, support their digitalization. So uh, this is the, the background actually we started this business, uh, John. And yeah, for sure uh, we have some, uh, we made some uh, revenue from here as well and we are trying to scaling scaling up uh, this business uh, at least starting for this year yeah so so what are the types of data that um people people outside excel axiata have shown the most interest in uh the typical data actually uh, for financial services like for score to support scoring model like uh, for example uh, the tenure the uh, you know uh some of people are lo location of the people but for sure we cannot mm -hmm. uh, show directly about the location itself which is just the range of the upper the range of the percentage of these these people are reside on this uh location so this support for scoring uh, for example if they want to propose a score model then actually they can uh, uh you know uh uh using this uh, our data actually uh-huh so, well, so how does that help with the uh, with the credit scoring? Is it just just location? I mean, what what is it about the about the the data that uh, uh -huh. that provides a financial um, uh, a financial institution with with insights that will enable them to to score? Yeah, correct. So uh, that's not just uh, for the lo location. But there are a couple set of the uh, couple set of the uh, you know the data that actually we have that support this scoring by combining uh, this and we have also a way to, to way uh, the new way of uh, how actually we deliver the service uh, for example uh, using our sandbox so the data scientists can easily uh, develop the modeling uh, inside the sandbox so it's supposed to be I can present it uh, our sandbox technology that. Uh, can support for the modeling uh, and uh, as the data science will be uh, uh, best uh, safe in the restaurant for example uh, they do by themselves they do by themselves and once the final model uh, you know uh, found it then we try to help them to compile and put on production they just uh, simply hit our api uh, for sure using the user concern something like that uh huh. So, so you have all this data, and you um, and you bring it together in a uh, in a place where you can then share it. But yeah. you mentioned uh, data models, so you're you're um, you're allowing in your sandbox, you're allowing um, data scientists from your partner companies to create their own yeah. create their own models, so that they can. Um, so that they can then use those those insights. Is that um, is that a fair assumption? Yeah, okay, we've got uh, uh, we've got your deck. So maybe you you got a you got a picture there that that explains it all. Okay, I will I will leave you to it now. Uh, uh so I already uh, put it on full screen. Yes, is is on full screen. Yes. I can see it clearly. Okay, I'll leave you okay, to okay. it. Okay. 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 Uh, thank you very much. So thank you uh, for your patience. So actually, uh, we would like to share what actually we have done so far. 
or 2020 and uh, we start uh, selling up this business <clears throat> for sure uh, this is my background so actually i'm uh, maybe uh, years experience in the telecommunication industry uh, from the engineering to management and right now we are uh, we have also graduated from the mba uh, for the business uh, uh, from trasit yamulia which is uh, business innovation and my experience uh, around uh, 14 plus already in the excel and right now we are trying to share to you what we have done so far related with the api and big data <clears throat> so this is uh, what come to your mind about the data this is uh, actually our president uh, baba Joko Widodo that uh, he, he is saying that uh, so our uh, our you know that the very precious uh, things in Indonesia currently is not only for the oil and also uh, natural resources but for sure that's uh, coming from the data so huge data that actually we can we, we can take uh, to support uh, like a smart city uh, support for the government initiative and everything <clears throat> and uh, this is uh, what is the growing uh, now that we can see uh, like uh, for example the data is uh, data we can we can treat as the new oil right now while uh, ai is the new electricity so by combining the data uh, machine learning and the ai uh, for sure we would like to get uh, more value and benefit uh, to increase at least for our businesses uh, there are uh, multiple uh, businesses that actually we can support for this and then as you know the technology are growing very fast like uh, for example in the uh, beginning of uh, maybe one one binary code until 128 bits and right now we can see that uh, maybe in the beginning we just uh, we just you know uh, just using the computer then everyone is is glad in that time but class but right now uh, as you know uh, not only that we can be supported by any data that we have and goes to the artificial intelligence like uh, in the left side and also the technology are growing exponential uh, while human are you know uh, yes uh, for sure we, we also personally grow but it's not as fast of the technology itself that's why uh, maybe in the some of the uh, world ai for example uh, this uh, you know uh, discussion between the jack Ma and also elon musk elon musk saying that artificial intelligence will be you know uh, explode in the few uh, years but jack Ma also saying uh, people are still needed uh, because the ai cannot do anything cannot do cannot cannot do some things that a human human can do for example a uh, feeling yeah something like that but for sure this is very interesting enough for us how actually the, how actually the ai and big data can support our business <clears throat> and uh, this is the uh, this the sample of traditional of oil company uh, they are actually doing the same thing with us uh, for data uh, for the first one they will take the crude oil uh, from the left side and by exploration drilling pipeline infrastructure and then uh, they will go to the midstream which is refining storage tanks and downstream downstream uh, which means that the, uh, the retail retail uh, service or retail product uh, for example gasoline kerosene oil and everything right but uh, on the down below uh, on the data actually we can do the same thing uh, the, the same principle actually we can take uh, the data from the data source from any uh, data source uh, can can be from instrument sensor data capture over connectivity as well as uh, in the middle we can also doing some you know uh, data cleansing uh, algorithm logical model and then at the end of the day we can we can take the insight from the uh, user interface uh, for example with apps web and everything so as you know uh, because uh, we are coming from the telco industry uh, the telco is uh, industrial growing very fast right because uh, it is uh, driven by at least three uh, the first one the application itself and uh, number two is device and three is the in the network so the uh, as you know in the beginning maybe uh, during in the period of gprs you just use uh, very small apps and uh, low bandwidth consumption but right now when we go to 4g or even 5g then we consume a lot of bandwidth, a lot of apps with the bandwidth consumption apps. And this also driven the number of data that we, we can take from this activity. And then, then after that, uh, from 4G, for example, to 5G, it will be 10 or 100 times uh, faster, which is in terms of storage that, that we need. Actually, we need to, to be very, uh, you know, a uh, very huge amount of the storage needed to store the 5G uh, data that we can capture from our customer. 
And this is uh, use, uh, also aligned with the industrialization that right now, uh, analytic industry evolution are also growing very fast. Like as you know, industry 5.0, uh, now is personalization, man machine, and uh, not only on the uh, digital industry, but for sure in the mining industry also, they are going to uh, autonomous uh, system, fully autonomous or hyper autonomous, uh, like for example, unmanned truck and something like that. So actually we can support with the data. <clears throat> and uh, this is, uh, as you know, the uh, power of the data. Maybe some of the giant player from the global, like uh, uh, WhatsApp, Facebook, uh, Instagram, and another giant player like Google, and uh, many uh, giant player actually, they are already, uh, maybe they are digital or uh, data native organization, which is they are uh, fully aware and uh, utilize very well about this data uh, to support some of the, you know, uh, uh, the personalization on the marketing itself for dynamic offer for product, uh, price and uh, content, automate and micro, uh, micro moment and also uh, some of the opportunity to increase the NPS and the loyalty. So uh, we, we already see uh, in some of the uh, industry already, uh, you know, heavily utilized this data. And how valuable telco data for industry. So actually this is very interesting. Maybe uh, uh, some of you uh, already know which part that we gonna uh, support for the business, but maybe from another uh, non-telco industry maybe want to know uh, which actually the data that can support uh, for the vertical industry. So this is our uh, unlocking uh, your business challenge. Some of the opportunity that actually we can help uh, through our telco data, like for example, uh, accurate and real-time EKYC, uh, individual behavior, uh, safe and secure business intelligence, effective and efficient marketing, dynamic offer, like ultimate and micro moment, uh, and also increase brand power and PS and loyalty. And as you know, in Indonesia, uh, there are uh, a huge uh, opportunity in terms of the uh, market segment. Uh, for example, uh, for financial er financial services, there are uh, at least 51 unbanked, 26 unbanked, underbanked, and 23 banks. So uh, like, uh, for example, uh, when we are doing for scoring, for example, uh, some people which is uh, underbanked, actually, they can do easily by using data from banks. But how about the unbanked or underbanked? They don't have actually the account bank. Uh, so uh, Telco actually can support uh, for this scoring. So in the next slide, we're gonna share you about uh, how actually we can do uh, to support Telco's uh, uh, financial scoring. And uh, uh, the combination of the uh, Telco and also uh, financial or e-commerce or IoT, actually can support, uh, you know, uh, at least uh, to support your digitalization uh, in order to have uh, higher revenue. Uh, for example, you are in the financial services and you want to get the faster approval for scoring, for example, then uh, uh, we can actually help you in order to get uh, to give some score. And the number two is cost efficiency, uh, cost efficiency for sure. Uh, some of the company also put uh, some sensor and get inside in order to have a better cost optimization and increasing uh, productivity. And uh, that uh, actually faster deliverable for sure. Uh, for example, by scoring in manual process, if you, if you want to propose some loan, maybe you can take four or five days uh, for approval. But uh, using our telco data, actually, you can take the data maybe within a minute or within, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, the uh, the delay that so we got, for example, uh, five minutes, you can actually take the data, complete data that combining from telco and also uh, your financial services. So it should be uh, faster than the, the assisting or the manual process. And uh, I would like to share uh, what actually we have done and what type of the uh, you know the service that actually we can we can de develop for you. The first one is API uh, API business, which is uh, we provide you some of the subset of the API from Telco, and also the second is modeling API. This is uh, the one that we shared to you before, and third one is data insight, and the last is that uh, mobile advertisement. So this subset actually can can support uh, any vertical, but majority that based on our experience, uh, majority is coming from financial services. 
And uh, uh, also, why actually we do uh, providing this API? Uh, so uh, based on our experience, uh, you know that Telco is already running uh, this business around 20 plus year. And we've, we've been dealing with the API for sure. It's already a long time ago. But for sure, those uh, API actually are developed for internal purposes. Uh, and we never, uh, you know, expose this API outside. Uh, but uh, we realized that uh, there are a lot of, of uh, you know, uh, like an oil uh, underneath us that actually we can uh, explore and also, uh, you know, uh, deliver some of uh, business value uh, for the internal uh, telco and also for the uh, vertical, vertical industry. And this is the sample of the API that actually we have uh, built. So right now it's more than uh, 40 plus API we have already uh, well built. And this is not only uh, designed by ourselves, for sure this is, we got an input from financial services and this financial services actually, they need subset of API by combining this API, actually they can they can uh, go inside uh, to do some scoring or, or you know, location check and uh, many things. Uh, and also to support uh, some of the activity of fraudulent activity, basically, uh, like uh, in the in the beginning of the of the business actually uh, there are a couple of the you know fraudulent that fraudulent activity in indonesia they copied the mssdn to fraudster uh, and uh, uh, under the hand of the fraudster they're actually uh, transfer all of the uh, bank information and also bank account uh, uh, and also some of the your, some of your money uh, to be transferred to their to their account so using the fraudulent activity. So this type of, of the activity also can be, you know, at least uh, we can we can reduce uh, this activity by having this API. <clears throat> and uh, maybe uh, you familiar with the activity. Uh, some of the people in Indonesia like to, you know, uh, get some loan from the leasing company in order to get some uh, vehicle, for example, the sample of vehicle. So actually, uh, before you uh, get some approval, there are uh, scoring, and the scoring model actually we can we can uh, done uh, within our sandbox. So this is the sample of the process. Uh, just simply, uh, leasing company take your data and they will combining their data with our data uh, based on the behavior that you have and combining. And finally, they put some model and uh, you got uh, the score, which is uh, referred to. Uh, for example, A, uh, you will get approval directly. B, uh, there will be maybe consideration, uh, but still not approved. And C, you will be rejected, something like that. This uh, pretty, uh, you know, uh, straightforward. And how actually we did it? Uh, we actually uh, create what we call it sandbox. Uh, this sandbox actually uh, working together with uh, our partner data scientists and working with uh, Excel uh, data engineer. And we are also make sure that uh, there is no uh, data that will be uh, pumped to outside our, our environment. So this all will be done our environment uh, and uh, GDPR protection. And for sure, uh, some of the data we will, we will encrypt. Uh, and also, uh, you know, uh, when it uh, will be put on production, there will be user concern. So if there are no user concern that we will not allow, uh, you know, uh, giving the, the score. So this is, uh, actually the value proposition that we have right now and actually uh, all telco uh, in indonesia can can adopt this model uh, in order to support uh, financial services and uh, this is i thought the the last uh, data insight uh, as a service that we have As you know that uh, intelligent in uh, in our uh, you know in our world uh, this is it is something like new uh, but this is something that uh, already happened in the maybe decades ago, right? Uh, when we see uh, there is a US and Unisoviet in that time, they, they are keep, uh, you know, uh, chasing the information by sending the CIA or the KGB, right? But uh, this uh, this uh, practice actually still happen, uh, you know, in Indonesia, maybe uh, I take for some example from, yeah, from my friend in Grab, Gojek, and also in e-commerce, they are actually want to know about each other, right? So at least, uh, how 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 my uh, competition landscape in some of the area in Indonesia? Uh, so actually, we can we can bring this data as well, and we can uh, give this information from each of the uh, you know 
uh, the client in e-commerce and also right hailing. So this this information actually we can take and how actually we can take this data. Uh, so uh, this actually the uh, you know the uh, topology of the telecommunication in general. So actually uh, during the telecommunication there is some uh, some network element that actually we can take the data, but for sure this is well protected and still under uh, under organization of the telecommunication. And from this data, actually, uh, maybe 100 data, 100% data. Uh, so we do some revining, collecting, and data cleansing. And from this data cleansing, actually, we take maybe around 20% that actually uh, actually can support for decision of insight. And uh, we put on the geospatial model. Actually, uh, it depends on the, our client. If they want to be put on the geospatial, that actually we can provide this geospatial and just we just put on top of it. And then the competitor analysis can be seen directly uh, from there. They just uh, doing some assessing there. Uh, but for sure, if they want, uh, you know, the uh, aggregation of the data uh, in the raw data, not not real on not real in raw data, but actually aggregation data in Excel, for example. So we can also uh, provide. So at the end of the day, uh, we create, uh, you know, some value of uh, money on the service and we can deliver for any target segment in the vertical industry. Hi, we actually have a question from, from the audience um, about oh, yeah. how, okay, yeah. how you manage to process uh, uh, big data while also maintaining the user's identity security. So how yeah. do you protect people's privacy uh, yeah. when you when you're farming this data um, mind, mind you we, we only have a, a short period of time to to address yeah. this so please okay uh, I would I would like to answer now or yeah uh, just, until just it's quickly finished. just quickly. okay 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 John. Yeah. yeah so I do uh, believe about the GDPR and also data protection and for sure uh, when we doing this business we are actually uh, working tight uh, and working together with our uh, government and relation which is from legal and also uh, regulatory. And then we try to fit uh, as well, uh, as, as strong as we can uh, fit with our regulation. For example, uh, for API, for example, uh, any API that will be hit, uh, we will use the user concern. So uh, as long as the user giving the user concern, actually they can they can take the result. And there is also a tight, tight on the, you know, some of the, uh, indemnity clause on the on the agreement between uh, us and our client, for example. And for sure, uh, regarding the data insight, for data insight itself, we never expose our our uh, raw data. So we just uh, you know send the data like in the graphical user interface, or or uh, you know or uh, the aggregation of the data. So never never uh, send of the PII or the personal data. Uh, to our client mm -hmm. yeah maybe that can can answer uh, john yeah okay well thanks very yeah. much um listen um do you have a a, a summary slide or, or is this the the summary slide that you have because we're we're running yep. up against time okay maybe uh i have one one slide maybe this very important so how actually we we did it uh this our uh big data tribe so within our organization we are trying uh, to everyone to put in collaboration uh, not only for internal but for external we have also partners thank you very much with the partners so you are uh, extremely well as well because we actually learn from you guys and we actually you know uh, in the telco actually uh, we don't know about the verti any vertical industry you are the expert and then uh, we just uh, like uh, oil company that actually can provide you some information that will give uh, insight uh, to support your business so that's uh, maybe my final uh, speech Great. Done. Thanks very much, Aaron. I, I guess that that's a good slide to, to close on, actually, because it demonstrates that you really uh, need to talk to, to partners about what their yeah. what their needs are and anticipate what they can what they can do with uh, with your right. service. And uh, that ties in very well with the earlier presentations. It's also a good link to our next presentation uh, because we're going to have uh, Tarush Agarwal. Um, the CEO and, and founder of 5X Data, who's going to actually talk yep. about the process of creating an, a new um, data data products 
uh, for data reporting and analytics and exposing those through through APIs. So uh, thanks very much. Uh